Hi there, it's Paulina here at the Denami Design YouTube channel, and today we're going to be creating another card from start to finish. As you've seen on the Denami blog this past week, we've done Christmas cards all through this week, and we've done some whimsical and classic, and today I wanted to go for something a little bit in between. So we have it whimsical, yet it still has the classic Christmas colors. And as you can see, we've used the new stamp, the large mitten, and we've decorated it. So this is a really fun one because you can personalize it um, and you can customize it to whatever suits your style and also whatever kind of stamps that you have. So we're going to get started on creating this card. For the card base here, we have our brown craft cardstock. And I've just rounded the top two corners of the card. And so we're not actually not going to need to do anything for this card right now. Um, just, we're going to set the card base aside. And we're going to start off with the bottom panel. The bottom panel we have is the leaf green cardstock. And we've just cut it down to one and a quarter by four and a quarter. And we're just going to stamp right on top of it. And we're going to be using the D101 Small Solid Holly Leaves and I'm going to be using the Versamark ink. And the great thing about this ink with this particular paper is um, you're able to get the tone on tone kind of a look. So it's just gonna, we're gonna just stick this holly and you're gonna see, here I'll, you can see it just has the tone on tone. So it's really neat. Um, this is one of the card stocks that we carry that is just really shows the Versamark really well. So you're not going to need to get any special kind of ink for this particular paper. And also if you're new to Versamark ink, you could also use this ink pad um, for embossing with embossing powders. So this is a good one to have. Okay, so that's our bottom panel. And then we're just going to set this one aside. And then next we're going to grab a piece of celery cardstock. And this one measures two and five eighths by four and a quarter. And for this one, we're going to be using the aloe vera and the B102 small solid button stamp. And this is one of my favorite stamps. I, I love this one because um, it's just a great decorative one and it's just a good staple to have. So we're just going to use the aloe vera and we're going to just stamp all across this panel. So you can create your own patterns with this button. I'm just going across and stamping it as a background, but you can do it scattered, you can um, space them out, you can put them even closer together, or if you have another um, background stamp, like one of our bigger ones, you can use that as well. I just thought this particular stamp was really fun and it just adds to the whimsical feel of the card. And also with this aloe vera ink, it just matches really well with the celery cardstock that we have so okay so there's there's the panel there and you can see it's just a really nice subtle kind of a background and then for to frame this one we're going to be using a piece of red cardstock and I've used the EK success border punch and I've just created my own border and so we're just going to frame this like this. So I'm going to use my ATG gun. And we're just going to frame these. going to make sure there's a nice border on both sides. Okay, and now we can start to layer this onto our card. So I'm going to get my piece of leaf green and we're just going to add that to the bottom of our card. So I'm just going to add the adhesive. We're just going to add it to the very bottom. I'm just going to make sure it's nice and lined up. Okay, then we're going to grab this panel and do the same thing, just a little bit higher. Oh, 
Oops. Okay, so this is the part where you can decide how much of the green you want to show. Okay, so now we're going to set that aside and now we're going to go for our focal points. So I've already pre-stamped one of the mitten stamps and then I'm going to actually just show you the other one. So we're going to just use the stamp. This is the front. It's a nice big stamp. I'm just using the vintage sepia VersaFine ink. We're just going to stamp this. And then I'm going to cut it down just a little bit so it's easier for me to handle. Okay. And we're going to be using the same um, aloe vera ink and then we're going to be using the satin red VersaFine ink. So I'm going to just open both of these up. And then for this one we're going to be using the PFO2 Classic Christmas. I'm going to be using the holly leaves and then the holly berries. Okay, so, this, so I'm going to start off with the holly leaves and we're just going to stamp this sporadically across the mitten and as you can see I'm just rotating it so the leaves are kind of going in different directions. And I'll do the same with this one here. I'm just going to stamp this. Okay, now we just need to add the little red holly berries. And this just adds some color and just makes it really fun. There's one of them. Then we'll just add the little berries to this one here. Okay. So there's our mittens, and I'm just going to cut out this second one here. Um, you can use some little scissors. I'm just going to use some big ones. And you don't have to make it perfect. I'm just going up pretty close to the line. Like I said, you can change out the stamps. So if you have some a lot of smaller stamps, you can use them on these ones and just change out the colors to whatever suits your personal style. Okay, so you can see that this is starting to shape up. And then for the last piece of our stamp, we're gonna need to just get a piece of white cardstock and I've cut it down to seven eighths by three and seven eighths. And this is going to be this part here. So I'm going to just use my scissors and just cut out the little ends to make it fancy. I'm just going to meet it in the middle. Okay, so this is what it's going to look like and I'm going to get a piece of just cardstock and we're going to stamp the Christmas Wishes, which is the F209, and I'm going to use the Vintage Sepia Versifying and we're just going to stamp the sentiment off to the right of the center. And then I'm going to use the N130 stitched border and we're just going to ink up a little bit of it. And it's just going to go in the center. Just kind of adds a little bit more to the card. So this is what that looks like. And now we can actually put the things together. So I'm going to get my foam mounting tape and we're just going to start putting this together. So I'm just going to tear off a nice big piece of tape and I'm just going to just put down the pieces. I know I've said it before but you know it's okay if you tear them, they don't have to be perfectly sized pieces because nobody looks at the back of the, the little um, elements that you're putting down. So I'm going to just, and you can just play around and figure out where exactly you want to place things. So just kind of gently placing them and then figuring out where I want the sentiment to go. Okay, so I'm going to push this down a little bit. 
Okay, now I'm gonna do the same with my sentiment. I'm just gonna get some foam mounting tape. I'm gonna add to the back. Okay, so I'm just gonna make sure it's nice and firm. And then we're gonna add the fun elements. So you can see on this card we added different rhinestones to the corners and also to the mittens. So I'm gonna get my rhinestones. I have the red ones here and then I have the gamma green ones here. So I'm gonna use the gamma green in the corner on the left. So I'm just going to just add a big one to the corner and then the medium sized ones on either side of it. I'm just gonna to wanna to make sure you press nice and hard so they don't move. Okay. So there's the green ones, and then we're just going to add the red ones to the mitten. So you can use, I'm using the medium and the smallest ones, and I'm just gonna add them randomly to different holly berries. I'm just, just going to add some sparkle and also um, it doesn't, it's not as messy as glitter so this is kind of fun because it just adds a little bit of bling without the mess. Okay, so there's one of them, and then we'll just add some holly berries to the other one. Oh, it's so fun. Just add some sparkle. I'm gonna add one more. Okay. So you can see there, it just adds a nice little bit of sparkle to it. And you're just going to want to make sure you press nice and hard so none of them come undone. But there's our card. It's quick and easy, really simple, and it's great because you can customize it to whatever suits your style and your colors, and it's just a really fun card. Um, I know you, most of you know that you can switch out your sentiments, so if you wanted to do the season's greetings that we have, or the happy holidays, we even have a Merry Christmas, those all would work for this piece here. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.